This is a Hylus 48 sailing yacht. Hylus is well renowned in the cruising community for their quality and luxury yachts. In this video, we're going to meet with a current Hylus owner and the COO of Hylus as they give us a tour of the Hylus 48. So let's talk to David and Peggy, learn more about their story and the Hylus 48. So uh, I'm the, the CEO at Hylus Yachts. I, um, I'm the person who is in charge of the whole operation, sales and marketing, and, and uh, to uh, the service department here in the States. Also do a lot of events, get all the, the owners together and, you know, um, create this like the fat kind of like a family uh, type of gathering gatherings and it's uh, the, the the folks who uh, are kind of a, our highest family the previous owners and new owners yeah. they, they really do like to get together everyone you know is proud of their boats and yeah. also they're great people and, and proud of their boats yeah. too so I like to meet as many you know uh, of them We've met so many okay. people. A good part of two decades, I, uh, I've been uh, working in the music, film, TV industry and, uh, in New York City. And my, my dream is to sail. Uh, so I try to do it as much as possible. And for many, many years, I dreamt of owning a Hylas. I bought it, and two years later, unfortunately, I didn't meet her first. Uh, <laughs> Two years later, uh, I, I met Peggy at, at the boat show uh, in Newport. Yeah, then he introduced <clears throat> me to this whole like cruising lifestyle. Um, start you know going offshore, going down to Bahamas, and you know going back and forth uh, the you know the New York and um, Bahamas, and you know we that's how we uh, actually decide we want to have our wedding there because that's the first place we you know sell together you know we have been building yachts for 40 years now <clears throat> people always talk about you know owning a house it's like how important safety safety you know, how strong the boat is <clears throat> uh, when they're offshore. going offshore you know crossing i think that's been primarily ocean. one of the exactly biggest yeah. the biggest uh Things we hear, the build safety quality. and comfort. Um, right. Yeah, having having you know a, a very very comfortable boat and a very strong boat, right. fast offshore. It's just those those three things uh, allow you to get to where you want to go and be comfortable at the same time. So it's it's not anytime you go offshore, you know, it's there's wonderful experiences and there's. You know, weather can kick up and it becomes a little bit more difficult. And you know, if you're on this boat and any of the Hiles boats, you come below and nothing makes a sound. I mean, that right off the bat is completely different. It's like it's it's silent down here, and the hulls are very thick. It's hand this Hiles forty is hand laid, uh, no core. It's a uh, it's a strong boat. It's a very thick hull. And uh, it's a heav heavier displacement mm -hmm. boat. Uh, and also, a lot of uh, owners talk about our customer service. Um, you know, any any time they have they need parts, they have questions about a boat, they contact Quinlong Marine in Taiwan. They always get the answer back next day. They do. So it's super helpful. Like you know, even if you're Her like mom. you're <laughs> the second owner, third, fourth. You know, like you might not have all the all the information about the boat, but once you contact the yard, the shipyard, you get the answer right away. Taiwan has its you know reputation of yeah building, and you know that's what decade uh, thousands of years right so and uh, that's centuries what we are really known for. It's it's really really cool. It's a boutique boat building company. They can't build more than fifteen yachts a year you know maybe 20 like really pushing it but mm -hmm. it's like it's never going to be a production boat it can't <laughs> they can only produce so many and um, that's why you know it, it's it's so incredibly high 
high level in terms of the build and you know, when their, their competition isn't any of the production boats. Their competition, uh, and in my, my, you know, my opinion, there is no competition, but their competition is oyster. Mo and, yeah, most people compare yeah. you know, swan, swan oyster. oyster, but the, you know, we are this, <clears throat> that same level. But you know the the of course labor in Taiwan is a lot you know, cheaper compared to UK. You know that's why it makes Hylas you know like a little bit more attractive price. Right, wise. stands out. Even boats that were built by this or designed by the same naval architect, I'd always come back to Hylas and go, "This is yeah, this is a better." Boat. And we hear that you know compliment at the shows all the time. Like, you guys have the best boats at the show. Yeah, yeah are you guys ready to do the tour? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's take a tour. All right, David, uh, let's take a look at the outside of the boat. Sure. Uh, so what do we got going over here? We have uh, like the Maxwell. Uh, yeah, this is a great windlass. Uh, very quick, very quick to deploy. And uh, it's got a chain counter. Uh, chain right counter, at, that's cool. Right at the, yeah, right at the helm. Stainless. All the way top, around. All the way around. Uh, nice strike plate over here. That electric furler, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen on a boat. That's, <laughs> so instead of having a furling line, yep. which you run back and you got to pull manually or put it on a winch or something, you just got a little button and you can furl or unfurl the Genoa. It's, it's really, really, really nice. Really easy to do. And uh, it's got a fairly deep uh, chain locker. We've been using it for the last week now. And, uh, it's uh, two, two compartments for yeah. two different uh, uh, anchors and ground tackle road chain. Well, I like how big and, and, and deep it is there because like a lot of boats that have been on lately I mean the, the chain just castles underneath there and you're always down there flipping and flopping it and yeah. this this we've done it you know I don't know how many times we anchored yeah. but we've never had a problem with it nope um, and then it does have a staysail is that pretty is that a, is that an option or is that uh, is that pretty um, much standard well it it's mostly I, I haven't really seen too many highlights without staysails since they're they're really blue water boats right but, uh, I, I suppose you can you could get one without a stay cell yeah, if you yeah. want. But and this is a self-tacking stay Yeah, I was gonna say that's the difference there is yeah. I mean in heavy wind anyway you're only gotten the stay cell up and so self-tacking is pretty nice I it guess is on that. Nice. I wouldn't want self-tacking as like my primary thing for my Genoa or Jim. No. But uh, but for, for what it is for a stay cell that's not bad. So these hatches are these are these are they better than your standard hatch or how well, does these that... are manship hatches they're, yeah. they're high quality hatches. Uh, these hatches have, have never leaked on me yeah uh, ever uh, I have a pilot 54 and these are the same style uh, man ship hatches and then it's got in mast furling uh, mm -hmm. for the main sole is that standard or is that an option or no it's uh I mean different customers will order you know whatever they different want configurations but uh, with this mast it's it's really if you're gonna have a in mast uh, aluminum celled in, in mass furling you're gonna have uh, the electric in mass furling option as well these boats are, are rigged for couples yeah you know it's everything's led to the cockpit you know you can do almost everything you need to do without leaving the safety of the cockpit and nothing so we've been sailing on it for a week now and nothing squeaks man I think that's the thing is like <laughs> I, I don't hear anything in the rigging squeaking nah. or rocking or whatever it's been pretty nice yeah Selden makes a great rig all right let's go back here to the cockpit so I do like, uh, it's a pretty comfortable cockpit, it really is. And it's up high enough. That yeah. It's, it's kind of nice because you have kind of the raised center salon or uh, uh, cockpit and it's a... Uh... This model, uh, the 48, actually has a bigger cockpit area than uh, our old 54. Yeah. There's more room uh, from the, the uh, for steering to the, to the seat here so you don't feel like you're, you know, yeah. you're smushed in there. But... And I, it's got, uh, so you've got the, uh, what? The, the, the bow thruster. Bow thruster, and yep. then you got in and out on the Genoa, in and out on the main, yep. and then both your other winches on the sides are electric as well, two speed. Here's your chain counter. Chain counter. Uh, remote uh, for the uh, windlass. Uh huh. Uh, this is a uh, autopilot head, mm -hmm. uh, all Raymarine uh, autopilot and Raymarine uh, network. Uh, you have the new Axiom. Uh, one uh, here in the cockpit. There's a little nap pod up there. Yeah, and yeah. one uh, one down in the, the uh, uh, at the nav station. And then so it's got a it's 48 feet long and it's a 14 six beam. Is that right? That is yeah. correct. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty nice beamy. It's very boat. beamy boat. Yeah. And it carries the beam pretty All far the way aft. Back. Yeah. yeah, pretty far aft. And uh, you know having that nice 
we can go out there and yeah let's go out there and check yeah. out the uh, aft, aft deck aft deck yeah and it is a nice no, aft deck close. you could easily you know if somebody wants a suntan or whatever it's nice and convenient here oh it's great we've we've set chairs up here yeah um, it's be i'd put a bean bag right there and i'm great yeah and then these little bow they're i say pal stern seats yeah they're really comfortable as well stern pulpit seats stern pulpit uh, this is still my favorite place to sit you know when we're when we're at anchor just sit back here put your feet in the water you know or even when you're you know as long as someone's watching you yeah you know when you're sailing you can just sit back here and relax put your feet in the water you know it's, it's, not bad at all i love this transom yeah this is one of the things that you know has always been signature on a Hylus. oh the, yeah the fishing spot well yeah. you know you don't often think about that with an aft cockpit you're trying to fish well, you got all the cockpit stuff right there you're trying to get over. You're trying to fish yeah. right here, man. Try to pull a fish. Oh, It'll yeah. be super easy. Bring it right here. Yeah. Then you have the, the deck wash down. You just wash yeah, it yeah. all overboard. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing we didn't mention. It does have a deck wash down yeah. and all that in the, in the chain locker. Yeah. We used that several times actually already um, to, to clean off the deck and the, and the anchor and all that, which is really convenient. Otherwise, we'd still, still be cleaning. Mud. Yeah, we're still getting <laughs> mud out everywhere. There's a preventer option. Oh, really? Uh, where you can have your in boom preventer uh, come out the back here. And it's, it's just. Uh, it's a really nice way of having a preventer ready for you to use so that you actually will use it. Right. Otherwise, it's like, get the preventer yeah. uh, a little later. Yeah. But it's right here. You just pull it out yeah. and, you know, bring Attach it forward. Attach it to the line. Oh, yeah. Just bring it forward. Attach yeah. it to the forward cleat. Yeah. You're done. All right, lots. you got the two lazarettes back yep. here. Yeah, so they're very, very deep. Lots of storage there. Uh, and then you have a little garage area here where you can have even more storage. Oh, wow. Back okay. Here, yeah. Oh, this is also where the uh, uh, emergency uh, tiller would be, okay. be put in here. Yeah. Uh, but 75 horsepower Yanmar? 75 horsepower Yanmar turbocharged diesel okay. engine. Um, yeah. Very and, reliable. Very and, reliable engine. And that, uh, it's got the Northern Lights generator, right? And it does. And that was super quiet. I mean, we like. We ran three, gen, uh, three uh, AC units off yeah. of that. Yeah. And That's it was super amazing. quiet. Yeah. yeah. All right, like let's that. go downstairs and get in that AC. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, Peggy. Um, so we're going to take a tour of the boat. We've been on the boat for about five or six days now, and it has been an absolute joy. It's a very comfortable boat. Uh, very Just the quality and finish out is amazing. So uh, let's start here in the salon and kind of work our way around and just kind of point out the unique features of the boat. Um, first off, I, I love... I guess it's the new design, right? Um, yeah. It's just all the lighting up here. Right. The the windshields, uh, you know, it's uh, as you can see, it's uh, very, um, you know, very open yeah. and lots of lighting in here. And I do like it's also got these side lights. Right. That just let in because that's that's always been like a what what happens on some monohulls anyway right. is that you feel like you're just trapped below in like a little cave, you know. Yeah. Whereas this, you got the natural lighting and you got the side lights so right. that it opens it up. Right. Um, yeah. Right. And then, so, uh, I guess is there storage under all the right. seating here and everything? Oh, yeah, there's like storage underneath the, you know, the, the seats behind it. Lots of uh, storage space. Yeah. Right. And then, so, so also this wood, all the teak, I mean, it's like, this, it's not veneers, right? That's like, is it, is it solid teak or is yeah, it? Yeah, okay. teak and holly. Wow, yeah. okay. So that's really nice. I mean, it's just the quality of the, the way, how they matched up all the seams. I mean, like, you know, the seams here are seamless. And actually we've been able to use this seating quite often. A lot of times in these salon, you know, it's hard to get back here. You right. yeah, scoot around, but this is pretty easy to get in. Yeah, so. yeah. Also, I noticed that all the access to the engine room was like, there's like five different ways you can get at it. Right. Um, so, you know, if you wanna... Yeah, come in there. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. Where's your access to the... The front yeah, of the engine. engine. And then there's a spot over this side, this side, and then in the head over there you can get it too. Right, yeah. So, so it makes, you know, like really easy to, you know, to, to get work done, you know, maintenance. And I met, one thing that's awesome right now, because it's like 95 degrees out right, there, is right. the air conditioning. Do pretty much all of them come, all Hylus just come with air conditioning, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even an option on a Hylus, right? It's just definitely. And that's cool, you got the uh, the pop-up TV and, right. and more storage over here. Pretty cool. So, definitely cool. All right, let's uh, go in the cabin. One thing I've, I've noticed that is kind of cool is, one, I do like the center cockpits because you get the large aft cabin. Yeah. And, but a, a problem with those is generally, 
there's only one way to get there. So if you got a bunch of people here doing something working like that, it's hard to get back to the cabin. Whereas actually, you have you can go either way right. to get to the after. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's right. All right, let's go back down here in the galley. We have you know lots of storage uh -huh. space. You know here Tell and down guys. here, and uh, we got the the fridge. Fridge and freezer. Fridge and freezer. And you have, you know, both access from the top, from here. Yeah, I do like how you can access right. it from the top loading or like a uh, side loading. Right, right. Uh, and then gimbal stove, uh, and then microwave, mm -hmm. and then more storage in here, I guess. More storage. And, you know, we got this, uh, you know, Oh, knife, yeah. This knife. All right, and then let's go back into the aft cabin, which is, the master cabin is just huge. Mm -hmm. So so this is, uh, this is the difference between like a catamaran and a, and a, and a monohull, is in a cat, you're never gonna get a bedroom this big. Because um, you got a nice, what's right. that, king size bed? Well, nearly. And yeah. a little and seating area. Got a lot of headroom yeah. here. Um, yeah. And I get a lot of lighting, you know. Yeah as well. And that's the thing, you know, these hatches are a lot more quality than mm -hmm. you see on a lot of boats. So. so the head, we'll just kind of talk about it from here. It's a, I like it's got the separate shower mm -hmm. and vanity and all that so that you can, somebody can be, you got two people in the bathroom at one time, which yeah. is, is hard to do. One of the coolest features is there's, it's not installed on this one, but you have it plumbed for a washing machine. Yeah, that's right. So that's it. That's a, Getting a washing machine on your boat really helps. And then you can go straight through back into the uh, the main salon through this way. So. All right, speed of which, let's go back in the main salon and then go forward and check out the boat there. One thing that's really cool about this boat is it's 24 volts too instead of 12, um, which just you can, you can you know, higher voltage, lower amperage, uh, you know, you can use thinner wires and all that. When you think about how much wire is in a boat, that makes a big difference. All right, so coming forward, you have two more cabins up here. You have kind of the main guest cabin, which is in the forward V-berth area. Although I wouldn't really call it a V-berth because it's not really your standard V-berth, but you do still have a pretty nice good bed. Um, nice hanging locker here, lots of storage under the bed. And then, you know, it's just a pretty good size. You have storage under here, here, you, it's, it's nice. And good airflow from this, and of course, air conditioning up here as well. But I really like it, it is pretty nice. And then the head up here um, is a, it's got its own access from the master cabin or from the outside or from the guest cabin from, or from the outside and you can come in there and then over here which would be maybe the kids or the grandkids or whatever you want to do um, is a couple bunks or if you got a crew or something like that two single bunks here um, with more another big hang locker air conditioning is nice and its own little uh, vent in here I'd like to thank Peggy and David for giving us a tour of this amazing boat. If you'd like more information about Hylas Yachts, you can go to HylasYachts.com. And stay tuned to our coming videos as we sail around the Chesapeake in this Hylas 48.